Hello! Today I'd like to talk about the tutorial mountain for Climber. Apparently only 3.7% of all players have got the achievement for finishing the tutorial. That's shockingly low if I'm being perfectly honest. And it seems that most players start the game but can't get past the tutorial. Let me see if I can't help my fellow noobs with a guide on how to summit the tutorial mountain. It's very important to take a bit of time to look at the route in every mountain. This is where you can see the obstacles you have ahead of you. And with that information, you can make sure to take the right equipment and be mentally prepared for what you'll face. We'll have to go over a few rocks early on. The numbered entries on the right tell you extra details about the path. So from the camp, we'll have a couple of rocks to climb over, but the early path won't require any special equipment. The letters are for spots that are designated for you to camp at. But they're only guides, you can skip camping and you can also camp at any other flat spot. After that we have a vertical climb. This is different from the earlier climbs, it's up a rocky cliff. Then a chasm, we can cross those with a ladder. Then a slippery ice area, anytime it says rope fixing required, you should know that you'll need to have anchors and ropes. Exposure means you get colder than normal. Then an ice wall, this is a vertical climb but using ice picks. You have an ice pick by default, you can buy better ones but the default is usually good enough. You might run into falling rocks while climbing though. And after that, the summit. The early missions will force you to take some basic gear. So a ladder for the chasm. Ice screws and ropes. Some basic clothing and food to keep you alive. Pick your sponsor and continue on. We're just going to go with the required items, they're good enough. You can right click to automatically equip things. Clothing increases your maximum stats. That means you start with better stats, but you can also restore them to this new maximum. Now comes the packing. The key is to remember to balance things out. Sometimes you can't open your backpack, so anything that you think you might need should go into the pockets. Ropes and ladders are pretty heavy, so it's best to put them on the center pockets. Anything else goes into the side pockets. I put the screws and energy bars in pockets 1 and 4 because that balances the weight vertically and horizontally. The second rope goes into the backpack itself. I won't use it, but if you wanted to use it, you could open your backpack and move it to slot 6 once you've used that first rope. But basically, we're fully balanced and ready to go. One last look at the route and we're good to go. This is where you should double check and make sure you have the equipment to deal with obstacles. You usually start at or near to a base camp. Now sometimes you can find extra gear, but if you're trying to get a good time, it's just not worth it. Small ledges you climb with the jump button. There are times when you might find goods you can pick up. Here's a free energy bar. Typically you find these items at camping locations. You can press Alt on PC to see the slippery spots on steeper terrain. You want to be on the lookout for black dots because you slip if you step on them. Like there. Usually they'll be on the steeper spots, but using Mountaineer Vision will tell you for sure. Let me show you what happens if you step on them. Basically, when you slip, your guy will flail his arms and you'll have to wait until you find some solid ground. You can see the black dots, trying to climb this wouldn't work. There's also bits of trivia that you can read. This is a second climbable ledge. You can also open the map with M on PC to see where you are. Jump to start the climb animation. You can also jump onto small ledges to save a bit of time. And here's another informational. Let me show you the most optimal path for this spot. You want to avoid the climbing animation as much as possible. Make sure you have enough energy before climbing. You can eat while climbing though. 
Vertical rocky climbs are about picking handholds. Look for the green ones, but sometimes you won't be able to avoid the reds. Crevices involve putting down the ladder and balancing your way. The game is leaning me to the left, so I'm pressing E to lean back to the right. If you wanted to, you could leave the ladder behind because there's no more crevices going forward. This is the slippery ice area. You'll have to use mountaineering vision because it's difficult to tell by eye where the slippery areas are. Go as far as possible, then plant the ice through. Hook the rope onto it and go forward. You'll need a second eye screw to get onto solid ground. You're supposed to drop the rope. But let me show you what happens when you aren't anchored on slippery surfaces. You have to pick up the rope again to cross. After you're done, you can pick up the rope and use it again later. That's a trick to avoid carrying multiple ropes, but we won't need to on this mountain. Another bit of information. You can tell that the game was made in Poland. You can also move items from the backpack to free pockets if you want, but you should also move things as needed to maintain a balanced load. Always a good idea to check on your vitals before starting a climb. In this case a few energy bars should get us to the top. <laughs> Ice climbs are a bit more interactive than rocky climbs, but you have to watch out for falling debris. If you get hit on the head, it'll severely damage your mental health. The top is tricky, and there's a slippery area just before the summit. This wasn't intentional, but you can see that it's easy to slip and how deadly it can be. We get checkpointed to the summit, but if you look at the lip of the climb, you'll see a bunch of black dots. There's only a very small walkable area. The best way is to move to the right, and then take the small path up to the summit. Once you know the right spot, jumping is the safest way to get up there. In this case we lost a lot of time looking at things and explaining. The fall from the summit also lost us a few hours, and technically speaking we'd be dead. But the game does allow you to fail up to three times before it fails the climb. And that's how you finish the tutorial mountain. Later mountains introduce things like camping and sleeping, so there's still a number of things to learn before you master the game. 
The next section is a decent run focusing on speed. There's only short comments, but you'll see how to climb the mountain fast. Ignore the energy bar, we have enough already. Stick to the right side. Jump onto the smaller ledge, then climb. Jump up the small ledges. You can just go straight up this cliff. Hit F as soon as you see the prompt. Pre-select the ladder before you get to the crevice. Don't let the balance meter hit the center. You'll start to fall in the other direction. Leave the ladder to save time. Small scrub here. Leave the rope once you're out of the ice. Eat a bar or two, but mind the timing. Climb towards the right unless you have debris falling. Then jump onto the rocks and you're done. My best time is 7 hours and 44 minutes. When I got it, it was the best time on the leaderboard, but since then a couple of people have beaten it. I'm guessing they've found a couple of shortcuts. It might take you a few times to beat the mountain, but it's definitely doable. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. See you soon.